Question, would you rather be huge, rich, and famous, or none of those things? If you chose none of those things, then I have good news for you. You can achieve that 100% naturally. But if you've recently felt the temptation to actually achieve your goals, then you might be wondering if being natty is really worth it. I'm not gonna stand here and lie to you about anything at all, but especially the fact that this is no doubt a heavy decision. One that your frail, tender, natural physique couldn't possibly bear on its own. So I am here, thankfully, to help lift this burden. Now I have here an honest review of the pros and cons of being natty. I have a serious question for you. Do you support Black History Friday? If so, then give your money to this POC, Person of Curls, at DomLace.com, where everything is 30% off for Black Friday, including this new Taylor Lift shirt. Restocked all of our classics. Are you a slut for these gains? Then grab the only gains tank. That's right, the college line is back with all your favorites like Miami, available in sweaters, t-shirts, tanks, hoodies. Make it gain. Brodello, Barbell and Trent. Who's ready for a butt pussy tongue massage with the family favorite, Ass Eater. Christmas sweaters, Saint Dick. Swolly Knight, Frosty the Grow Man. Knock up your workout with pull up, not out. Squatly Crew, Mass Bro Shops hats. OBGYM, keep it tight. That is what it Black Friday is, right? Like, it's like a... It's, it doesn't have anything to do with race. But it's like a race to get the sales. It has nothing to do with race. It has everything to do with racing to these sales though. Before they're gone. Honestly, not, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fucked up what they're doing out there. Okay, we're gonna start over here with the cons. Now, if you break it down, the only real con of being natty is you will be smaller. That's it. And the whole point of taking steroids is to be bigger. So the only real downside of not taking them is yeah, you're gonna be a little smaller. You just won't have freakish strength or superhuman recovery or godlike physique. Just, you, won't have, you just won't have those things. But you also won't be just physically smaller, but mentally too. Without like the intense drive and unbreakable willpower that comes from excessive synthetic testosterone, you'll think smaller. You won't just be smaller in the gym, you'll be smaller in life too. Your confidence will be smaller, your goals will be smaller, your bank account will be smaller, your worldview, your impact on the people around you, your presence, your aura, your soul will be smaller. You'll have a weak spirit. A dimly lit candle surrounded by giant blazing suns. You won't just be smaller in life either, but also in death. Your grave will be smaller. Your legacy will be smaller. The memory of you will become smaller and smaller until you're completely forgotten and your shameful existence is erased from your lineage. But that's like the only real con. Okay, moving on to the pros. First up, there are health benefits to being natty. For instance, you'll live longer. If you want to be here for a long time, not a good time, then not steroids is definitely for you. If your goal is to run the race as long as you can without winning, then your best bet is to stay natty. But let me ask you something. Have you ever tried life? It fucking sucks. It's a con. It's a scam. First off, you're born against your will with the combined genetics of potato salad, and then you're expected to play this shitty hand for as long as you can until you die? The only thing, and I mean the only thing that makes life bearable is the gym. So why not risk it all and go all in. And yeah, sure, you might die at 29 because your heart is the size of a melon. But you know what they say, gear size, full hearts, can't lose. Being natty is like getting a life sentence to a minimum gains prison and then getting more time for good behavior. I don't know about you, but I'd rather die young and huge from unnatural sources than old and small from natural causes. Gears over years, baby. This one might actually be better over here. Next pro. Full-size testicles. Everyone knows that steroids shrink your balls. But if you're natty, it means you don't got the balls to do what it takes in the first place, so what do you got to lose? Except for, you know, maybe your ability to have kids. But the way I see it, are you really losing your ability to have kids or gaining the ability to never pull out? Got the keys to the baker right here, baby. Serving cream pies every single day. What I not be served with a lawsuit for child support. I mean, who doesn't love cream pies? Except for single moms. Or do they really love them? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into this. I'm on the hunt 
for information. More on this later. Okay, which brings me to my next point, the ability to have kids. Steroids can lead to infertility. So if you're natty, you'll have a higher chance of passing down your boring, insignificant genes and starting a happy, healthy family. But if you're on steroids and you do manage to eke out a kid, it will be freakishly fucking huge and strong. It will have superior genetics. Think about it this way. If vaccines give your kids autism, steroids give your kids rawtism. That's right, raw fucking power. Now I know what you're thinking. The benefits of steroids are not passed down genetically so your kids won't be bigger. That's where you're wrong. I'm not passing down the strength from steroids. I'm passing down the strength to take steroids. My killer instinct. I will kill anything to achieve my goals, including my sperm count and myself. So if I do have a kid, that means that sperm had to be freakishly strong to beat the odds and will grow up to do whatever it takes. And what it takes is steroids. As soon as it hits puberty, which will be at like six, since middle age now is like 15. I always wanted a big family. Okay, next pro, no roid rage. Being natty is like being the Hulk if he was never angry or big, just a regular guy with a job. It's like being Bruce Banner, but instead of getting really angry and turning into the Hulk, you just get really upset and turn into an alcoholic. You know what they call roid rage when you're natty? Your period. Anger is just passion, loud, violent passion. Anger is just love on steroids. And as a passionate man, I only get angry about the things that I truly care about. Like when people disrespect women, defending the constitution, when my girlfriend has a bad day at work, or male coworkers, or when she can't decide what she wants to fucking eat, and takes too long to get ready, and then we're late, and I'm rushing and speeding, I get a fucking speeding ticket. You just make a fucking decision, none of this would happen. The bell loop gets stuck in a door handle, and you tear it off the fucking hinges, it's like a funny joke. Your hamster bites your finger, so you huck that little fucker into the woods, like John Elway throwing a Nerf ball. You lose a parlay on high school volleyball, that was a sure fucking thing. That was a sure fucking thing, ladies. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Yellow lights. Voicemails. Just fucking text me, dude. What is this? Ring me up on the fucking gramophone. Hell, hello. There's a, no, just fucking send a text message, goddammit. Green text? Mosquitoes. Cats, dude? The fuck you have a pet a cat? It fucking swipes at you, man. Red lights, what do you want me to do next? Stop? Sequels to movies, dude? Just end, just end in one. I'm ready here. Just finish the movie, man. Popcorn kernels in your teeth? Fuck you. Hockey pucks? Dude, just use a ball. What kind of sport is this? You using a fucking biscuit? Oh, where were we? Fucking whiteboards. This fucking, this fucking, fucking whiteboards, dude? Fucking whiteboards. Fucking folding chairs? Being natty just makes me a less passionate man. Oh, this must have fallen off. One common side effect of steroids, other than being insanely jacked and better than people, is acne. Not just regular acne, but your whole body will look like roller rink pizza. Trade-off is, if you're natty, your skin will look like smooth, uncooked dough. But if you're asking me, I'd rather look like pizza. Filled with sauce and sliced. I don't want clear skin, I want clear skin. Skin so thin and tight, you could see through it. If I'm Kendall, I want my skin to be Caitlyn transparent about their choices. And the choice here is clear as day. I don't want to just see my veins. I want to see my bloodline. I want my cuts to be so defined you can use them in a game of Scrabble. And if my skin has to look like I had a sleepover at Christopher Columbus's to do so, then bring on the big pox. Adding to the list of pros here, won't crash your test. When you take steroids, you stop producing testosterone naturally. So when you get off, your test levels tank. This doesn't happen when you're natty, cause your test is already so low that it literally can't crash. You can't crash a plane that's stuck on the ground. But guess what? Flying ain't natural either. And you'll never fly if you're too afraid to crash. The Wright brothers said this when they invented Spirit Airlines. And now, thanks to them, you can take $29 flights to Miami and eat imitation crab meat out of a stripper's butthole. The sky's the limit when your genetics are not. And lastly, Respect. Getting to say you're natty. One of the only true benefits of being natty is getting to tell people that you're natty. Looking them dead in the eye and confidently admitting that you chose to be smaller. Problem is, if you're truly natty, you won't even get the chance to tell people cause it'll be fucking obvious. People will look at you and go, oh wow, you look great for a natty. Which is like saying, 
You're super hot for six. You get to brag about not cheating to get a participation trophy. But anyone can not cheat and not win. Correct me if I'm wrong here, which I'm not, but being proud of yourself for working harder to achieve less doesn't sound like honor to me. It just sounds like bad business. There you have it, a very balanced argument. As you can see, the only pro here is pro-choice. The choice of which steroid- Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every week is what you will be if you don't go to DonMerch.com right now and grab yourself some gear for 30% off. Such a fucking generous guy, here's what I'm gonna do for you. You DM me your receipts at Don Mazzetti on Instagram and I'm gonna pick five people to give a $100 gift card to. Could be you, could also not be you. I don't know, man. <laughs>